Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing Owl House episode two. We're doing the deep dive. If you're not aware, I already did the episode one over analyzing shit, and I'll be completely honest and frank with you. It blew my mind. It literally blew my mind. I, it was way better than I expected it to be. So, so much way better than I expected it to be. I, I, I still can't get over how good it was. Twitter canceled me for watching it, which means it's extra good. So we're jumping right back into it, baby. Episode two. Let's see. Let's see. There's no way it can maintain this level of peak. Okay. Ain't no way. All right. Oh, dude. I love the, I love the uh, childhood adventures. The follow your dreams. Be different than the crowd. Like that is one of my favorite themes. And they did such a good job in episode one. All right. Uh, editor, post a clip of the uh, post of the tweet trying to cancel me for watching Owl House on screen right now. Hey, guess what's been in my mouth that I'm about to throw up? <laughs> Time I watch anything in the universe. Oh no, we're fucked, Owl House Twitter. No, he's ruining our thing. No, no. I liked Owl House, but now he's there. Oh, literally destroyed it all. No. Thank you, editor. I will be haunted by my actions forever. Hoot hoot! Uh, I would like to give credit to my haters for making this possible. Uh, let's see what we got. 10,000 likes for episode three, baby! Oh my glob! Stop adorably hopping away, you- Dude, is this how we're getting the recap as like a PTSD nightmare? Uh -huh. Welcome to... The Owl House! Owl House. Pretty awesome. Look at him go! Yeah, dude. <laughs> it wasn't a dream! No! Oh, no! When something too good that too good happens, something too good to be true, and you're like, oh shit, there's no way it's true. It's no way it's true. Good morning, terrifying fantasy world. Yeah, dude, I love, I love the the wide-eyed adventurous protagonist. It's literally one of the most wholesome ideas. I don't know why everyone in every new piece of fiction that I see needs to introduce a stoic main character. That's like, oh, I must find my way home. It's like, brother, get out of here. Good morning. Oh my God, is that the neighbor Cthulhu? Let's go, dude. Please smile, 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 smile. <gasps> Boo. Good morning, you little cutie. Dude, I fucking love this king of demon guys. He's amazing. He's a cute little bitch. Bye. I am not your cutie pie. I, I cannot unhear the Bill Cipher voice. It's crazy. Yes, you are. <sighs> I know. <laughs> Gaslighted. It's over. <laughs> Ladies and king. <laughs> there be owls. Bro, what is with when they called it the Owl House? They were not kidding. They, they, oh my God, dude! I'm just wishing you a good morning. Wait a second. Is this the owl from? Is this Hootie from the front door? The the annoying one that she poked in the eyes to open it. Jeez, Hoot! Ow! Sorry, Hootie. This is it, old girl. Your first day on the boiling eye. Oh man, we have all had that stage in our life. You know what I mean? Where uh, you you self-insert into some piece of fiction, into some fantasy, but she can actually live that self-inserted fantasy. Isn't that wholesome? Oh man, I feel like this entire show is just uh, could be a metaphor for what goes in the mind of uh, goes on in the mind of somebody that's just different. You know what I mean? Yeah, me watching DBZ as a kid, me watching Naruto as a kid, me exploring the worlds of One Piece. You know, uh, it's it's that self-insert idea, but everything that happens in this world can exist in your mind. That, that's the beauty of childhood. Miles, as a witch apprentice! <laughs> no, I mean, obviously it's not a dream. I, I, pe how, how can you possibly confuse by what I said? Uh, no, obviously it's not a dream, but this can be a metaphor for the, uh, the fantastic experiences you can have in your mind. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. I love it, bro. Please have witchy clothes, please have witchy clothes, please have witchy clothes. <laughs> Let's go! Yes, 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 yes! Ah! <laughs> She's just a nerd. She's literally such a nerd! <laughs> Witch Apprentice. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, listen, listen, it's the real world, baby. It's no fantasy. And people sleep in, baby. <sighs> listen, she, she doesn't have to follow the rules, okay? She's a wanted goddamn criminal. Hmm? Good morning, Eda the Owl Lady. I am ready for my first day of witch apprenticeship. Ugh. Are... Bro, did she just brush spiders out of her sleeves? Are you again? <laughs> oh my god, she destroyed her. She destroyed her. Literally just murdered her. In in plain sight. She killed her. Who are you again is the ultimate destruction moment. Dude, dude. Huh? Literally ended her. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, this definitely is giving off uh, Gravity Falls vibes like crazy. Shit, dude. Oh, man. Is there not going to be like a... I, I need an arc villain. I need some some bad guy that's just beautifully psychotic and insane. Some sickly Dorito of sorts. Interdimensional space Dorito. That would be cool. Oh, just wait. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Patience. Okay, all right, all right. Remember me? Witches before bitches. Yeah. Loose? <laughs> we Bro, before my morning coffee, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, what is this? What is this knife rack with a just a, half a sword attack? Oh my god. Dude. Freed the oppressed and defeated the evil warden together? Uh. Yesterday? Kid, lay off the details. I haven't even had my cup of apple blood yet. True, 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 true. Don't talk to me before my coffee, bro. You talk to me before my coffee, me, you are literally at your own risk. You mean apple juice? No. No! <laughs> Will you explain? No. <laughs> Simple Jesus apple blood. Spells. Bro, wait, wait. Is he eating mashed potatoes and eyeballs? No. Dude, this is actually just mashed potatoes and eyeballs, dude. Oh, man. Teach me some spells. When do I get a magic staff? Was I supposed to bring my own runes? <gasps> do you have a dangerous magical quest for me? Whoa, 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 whoa. So, slow down, kid. Being a witch doesn't happen overnight. Also, you're wrapped in a- Bro, we've seen free rid. We know it takes billions of years. Bathrobe and wearing the dirtiest traffic cone I've ever seen. No, oh, she- No! <laughs> Bro, she is such a witch stereotyper. Oh my god, what a bigot. Am I right? Am I right? Thinking that witches wear bathrobes and traffic cones? Oh my god. <gasps> Okay, no one saw that coming. <laughs> but a magic staff, huh? You really want one? More than anything. Oh my god. Magic staff, come to me! Uh... No! <laughs> uh... uh... It's that was very cool. That was incredibly cool. Bro, she, she's just four, but somehow cooler. Chat, stop talking to me about your crush. Chat, chat, she's not real. She'll never love you. But also, please. Early. Now, witches are awarded their staffs from school. With me as your teacher, you'll be taking a different approach. Clean my shit. You'll have to work for it. I run a few businesses. Oh my god, she's amazing. She's a dude. This is like the uh the what's it called? The karate kid. <laughs> the whole training. I'm just gonna have have her do random menial labor for her. Listen, it's just a little bit of child exploitation. It's okay. On weekends I offer rare human treasures that Albert drags over from your side of the realm. I shall smite my enemies! Yeah, rare human treasures. Like fucking dollar store plastic swords. It's ages six to eleven. But most days, I sell only the finest homemade elixirs and potions. Snake oil. No one wants an unoiled snake. True, that is, that's just real. That's just true. She's spitting. Today, you'll deliver packages and sell potions to that town over there. Bonesboro. Dude, I abs I love the aesthetic. Dude, look how insane this art is. The giant bones holding up the thing. The ribs that are going around the ends of this island. The house in the center held up by the eye. Dude, look at the aesthetic. This is some Ghibli shit. You'll have to be careful. 
I have rivals everywhere who'd love to take my business down and you along with it. No. You wanted a dangerous magical quest? Sister, you got one. I won't let you down, Nasita. Can't spell loser without lose, if you know what I'm saying. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, listen, it only gets easier from here. Remember, never befriend a man in sandals and always measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once, man in sandals. That's pretty good advice, honestly. Uh, good luck. Taking care of the child. The end. Well, she's probably going to die. I hate to interrupt your power nap, but you have to go with her. What? But I just found the perfect spot. Why do I have to go? Based, you real. and I know she's either going to get lost or eaten. Probably both. No, I won't. Why are you just standing there listening? Dude, honestly, based. You know that the second you leave on some sort of quest or journey or thing, you know. You know that they're talking about you. That is so based. And because you work for me, too. Unless you want to start. <laughs> Let me remind you. For paying rent. <laughs> Bro, bro. See, unlike me, who lives rent-free in the minds of 90% of Twitter, uh, these idiots over here have to work for their keep. Be back by nightfall or risk mortal peril. Cool. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Shut up, Hootie. Let's get this over with. It seems like a very nice village. I mean, there's a couple of eyeballs and teeth, but aside from that, it seems pretty nice. Wow. Ah! Dude, what is that? Oh my god. Hey, it's rude to stare. I've only seen places like this in my dreams. It's incredible. And I'm the only human here? I haven't seen any others. Wow. There must be a reason for that, right? Why am I here? What if I, Luz Noceda, am the chosen one? Average scene actually had a predetermined path of greatness. Boo! 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 Predetermined path of greatness stuff. Boo! No, sir. No, sir. Just like Azora. Dude, the self-insert is not... The self-insert gimmick is going hard, dude. Yeah, did Azura's path to greatness involve her delivering boil cream? Well, that part was not in the actual novel, okay? The novel talks about Azura's good moments, okay? Not all the difficult bullshit chores she had to do when she was just a kid learning from her master, okay? Today I'm delivering packages, but tomorrow yes! I'm earning the respect of everyone on the boiling aisles with my magical prowess. Oh, she doesn't understand. Oh, she doesn't understand at all. Oh, no, 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 no. She, she really, oh, no, dude. She doesn't understand. She sold herself to a, a witch, bro. <laughs> ha, good luck. Yeah. The boiling aisles is nothing but a cesspool of despair. More like a That's pretty awesome. I would love to live there. A cesspool of delight. <laughs> See, it's all a matter of perspective, baby. Make the most of the situation you're in. <gasps> oh my god. What has four hooves and wants to buy a potion? This guy. <sighs> my eyes are down here. <laughs> Take that, feminists. Ah, destroyed. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, no! It's not an extreme if there's no vor. <laughs> I know I've had enough delight for one day. I thought being the only human in a magical world would make me special. Bro, you are the only non-magical creature in the magical world. Think again. But apparently it just makes everyone want to scream at me or eat me. Uh, at this point, Azura had already been sent on an enchanted quest. At this point. At this point! Where's my quest granting wizard? Dude, that is just classic Azura propaganda. Don't trust it, dude. Everything starts from the bottom. You gotta build yourself up. Sorry to break it to you, Luz, but no one here is that well dressed. This has been a rough day. I mean, you're literally sitting next to a blob, a green gelatinous mass with a brain in it, all right? Get, listen, compare yourself to where you were yesterday. That's good advice. Luz, yesterday, you were being sent off to boring camp that was literally just there to put you in a box to eliminate your freedom of will and imagination. You were on a bus to lobotomy town. And now look at you. Let's just You can go back anytime you like. Deliver this last package and go home. 
Maybe this world isn't what I thought it was. Oh my god, magical castles, unlike the witch I've ever seen. Pretty. Alright. So, no Dark Souls boss, no Dark Souls boss. Big houses always belong to big whack jobs. Man spitting, man spitting, man spitting. I guess there are some things that overlap between our worlds and the boiling aisles. Bro, don't walk into Epstein's house without without a proper bodyguard. No, 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 Let's no. Let's kick no. the package inside and get out of here. No, 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 hey, no, no, wait. no. Ah, it's never a good. You never walk into a massive door like that. No. Wait. I'm <laughs> delivering a package from Miss Ida, the Owl Lady. It's a magic wizard! No, there is just no way she willed this into existence that she's getting some quest from some random wizard. All right, all right, calling it right now. The wizard's gonna come down. My child, thank you so much for being here. And then she'll be like, oh my god, it's a magic wizard. It's just like Azura. I will give you this quest for you. And she'll be like, oh my god, I'm gonna get this quest. It's gonna be so awesome. And then it's gonna turn out by the end of the episode, this dude is a fucking delusional bitch. He is an evil, manipulative piece of shit creep, okay? Okay. It's a trap! Damn, Painter did a fucking good job. <gasps> Today just got good. Uh-oh. No. Uh -oh. No. Uh -oh. Magical fool of a took. Wizard. A weird old man in Jim Jams. Based king, based king, based fucking king. Dude, dude, that that guy, that guy. No, 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 no. He has sandals! You literally were warned about this! Never trust a man in sandals! It's sandals and pajamas old. Bro's gonna look at her and be like, hey there, Shani, how's it going over there? Hey, would you like to come over here? Maybe spend some time with me? I don't know. I don't want any of that. I'm Herbert the Wizard, Temu Gandalf. Magical wizard. A weird old man in Jim Jams. I was in my oscillarium, reading the stars. And who might you be with eyes full of curiosity? Why, why would he Why would he start with that? Why would he start with that? Bro, why would you start with that? It's like you don't introduce yourself as, I was just simply in my oscillarium reading the stars. What's your name? Bro, that is not how you introduce yourself. Uh... I'm... Young lady, did as I say... You just asked her a question. You're gonna let her answer? Or you're gonna keep talking? I sense something unique about you. Oh my god, he is literally playing into every single one of her delusions. Pro manipulator. Please, won't you join me for tea? That is... something not kosher over here, Chris Hansen. Where are you? Chris Hansen, please. <gasps> okay. Let's scram. Wizards are just old people with glitter in their pockets. I mean, fair, fair. Oh my god! I don't trust him. But the stars on his robe are sparkling and look- Based, honestly, you can't argue, how you argue with that. Look, there's a baby fox in his beard. Uh, honestly, how do you argue with that? <laughs> Plus, I see scones on the table. Where? It was that easy. We'd love to join you for tea. Do you sell potions, Sir Wizard? Please, call me Alagast. Bro, I- <laughs> I am Alagast the White! Um, yes, I run a small business. Oh my god, is he competition? Is he is he just trying to take out his competition? He knows his competition, Eda the Owl Lady out here, was freaking uh, selling shit, and uh, and Big Pharma Adagast over here just wanted to nuke, nuke the new delivery girl. Wait a second! You should run a small business of more scones! Got him destroyed, annihilated, go king. Into my mouth! Haha, <laughs> yes! I'm surprised to see you here. It was my understanding that Ida delivered the packages herself. Ooh. Well, I'm kind of sort of her apprentice. Oh, and how are you finding the experience so far? And she's going to say, well, it was boring. And he's going to be like, oh, well, I could show you lots of things. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't badmouth your master. That's rule number one. Snitches get stitches. Can I be honest, Mr. Adagast? When I decided to stay in this magical world, I thought I was meant for something special. You were literally here for one day! But Hida thinks I'm meant for chores, and I'm afraid I came to the wrong place. Nonsense. You are in exactly the right place. Hmm. I have a... Dude has to stop holding his hands like this, bro. He's gonna give me Andrew Tate flashbacks. Quest. A quest? <laughs> you didn't let me finish. 
Oh, no. I have a question. Oh. oh. Would you like to go on a quest? Oh, my God. This dude. This guy. Not this dude. No. Add a guest. Why are you like this? Why are you speaking this way? Yes. Yeah, pull shit out of his beard. This is what I do. After after a good meal, you get a little hungry a little later. You have some leftovers in your beard. I might have just the thing. The prophecy speaks of a young human girl. Oh, no. It's literally playing right into her fantasies. Fuck, dude. You know, it's so easy to manipulate people. It's so easy. Who will claim the celestial staff and oh. free this world. She loves staffs, too. She loves staffs, too. Oh, God, dude. The gaslighting is crazy. Bro. From an ancient evil. Perhaps thou hath cometh here. All right, don't thou hath cometh here, you piece of shit. For a reason? Perhaps I hath. Should you believe no. yourself oh, worthy no, to attempt no. this quest? So worthy. This prophecy was written by me about ten minutes ago. You need to know the road is dark and perilous. I don't want to hear old men talking about their staffs, okay? Get out of here. Love peril. Big fan of peril. And only the chosen one can pull the staff from its post. Oh my god. Chosen one. Neat story, awesome. Anyway, your food is gone and we are too. Yes, we have to go. And back for this enchanted quest! No, no, Luz, please, Luz, no! I'm in. Bro, she just joined Niji Sanji. She just joined the proverbial Niji Sanji in this in this house. Aw, oh, man. Wonderful. All you, you have to do is sign this contract and you will become a VTuber streamer beyond your wildest dreams. Did she pack the, the junk sword that... Oh. So, King, what kind of chosen one should I be? <laughs> what the hell? Do, dude, I love that. I love how... I love how gullible she is, though. She's in a magic land. Obviously, nothing is gonna be how she expects, but she is gonna look at everything through the childlike optimism, right? Just an incredibly wholesome look at everything. What kind of chosen one will I be? She finally feels like it's her turn to live a life that she wants instead of being forced into a box. She's 14. She's a kid. She's dumb, okay? But, dude, it's just good writing in general. Because if you think about it, your average 14-year-old kid who always dreamt for something greater and never got that fulfillment that they were wanting or needing in school, doing the normal shit. If someone comes to them with some epic cool quest, calling them the chosen one, isn't this the ultimate black pill? Wouldn't they take that black pill? They would. Like, this is the typical gaslighting that works. And, you know, honestly, you know, she wouldn't fall down this rabbit hole if her parents and her peers and her society actually loved and appreciated her and respected her and, and respected her creativity for what it was. She would not be this excited and ready to finally be a chosen one. Uh, what? Should I be bold? It's like such, it's so dark and sad, but it's also such just well-written character, parent, whatever. Of optimism and goodness, like the good witch Azura? Or should I be like a bad girl chosen one with black nail polish and a mysteriously withdrawn attitude? I act like I don't care, but I secretly do. Oh, you guys talking about bad girls? Wait, what's going on? What, is she holding a good... Ida, tell Luz how dumb wizards are. Ugh, wizards are the worst. Never trust a man in casual drapery. Best Why? Best. He's wearing a curtain. He's wearing a curtain. Your wizard client told Luz she was a... <laughs> uh -oh. was a chosen uh -oh. one! <laughs> wait, wait, Luz? <laughs> oh, God, dude. And it's the same issue. It's adults not being willing to take kids seriously. That drives kids down paths to be manipulated by more vindictive adults. Like, she's, she obviously is she's laughing about it because it's stupid. But if you're not even willing to entertain something like this, you are literally going to radicalize her the other way. I feel like so many people in, in today's society end up pushed off a correct path because people are willing to accept them for who they are. <laughs> he even gave her a map! <laughs> Let me see this map. I didn't think this was real, did you? Uh-oh. What? This map is bunk. There's no lake with a celestial staff on the Boiling Isles. I would have stolen it ages ago. Ah, uh, don't worry. Come Dude, uh, this, is, this is so sad because I feel like we've all been there. Every kid that's out there that uh, has a wacky imagination, that is, is always dreaming for something more. It's so easy to take advantage of these kids and- Couple more months here and you won't look like such a mark. Can I have some time alone? 
Aw, oh, man. Dude, Ida's, Ida's a great character. Honestly, a great character. She has no uh, mothering instincts, but... <laughs> But that's okay. She's not a mother. But dude, she's gonna lose. Is gonna run out for this scam, isn't she? She's gonna try to get Roblox scammed by the wizard. Maybe they were right. And it's gonna start glowing or something. Huh? Am I, am I literally the goat? Am I just, dude? path will only appear to the worthy literally peak gaslighting pro gaslighter out here <gasps> that's why Ida couldn't see it because she's not the chosen one you've seen this before didn't you i literally have never seen this but am i really worthy no no i'll never know unless i try Bro, dude. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no. Finally, all that mean-spirited laughter made me sleepy. Crony, wake up. You said that wizard was one of my clients. Yes. Now go away. I don't know him that well, and I don't trust this itch he's scratching in the human. Let's mm -hmm. Let's talky more nappy. <sighs> hey, Luce. She really does care. That's why Ida's such a good character. She always has to put up that uh, that air that she actually doesn't give a shit, but she really does care. And because you care about someone, you'll actually tell them the truth. You'll tell them when they're being an idiot. But when someone really has a dream, it's so easy to manipulate them against the people that truly love them. So many children, I feel like, end up rebelling against their parents because their parents do love them and do tell them the truth. And unfortunately, the truth isn't always what you want to hear. Oh, nuts. Nuts Taku, that's me. Hootie, where'd you go? Hoot Hoot, if you want the answer that you seek. Just, just kick his ass. Don't, don't do riddles. Solve my riddle within a week. Ow! Oh! Okay, okay. <laughs> she went to the forest towards Bonesboro. Sheesh. Uh. Shut up, Hootie. No, no, leaving Bonesboro City lyrics. No, no. My first mythical quest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She cleared the first hoodle! Okay. Ah, the fog of whispering voices! Did she grab the toy sword? Listen, she needed something. Oh, got my youthful optimism. Yeah, my yeah! Trusty weapon. Alright, dude. By the power of Skullgar, I am out of bravery. Well. You know, I wonder if I made the right choice by coming here. Is she breaking vines with a plastic sword? <gasps> wow. Oh my god, it's furry Topia! Dude, all these cute little cats are gonna end up fucking eating people. It is I, Generic Hotman, that is actually a villain, sort of. I see. So you're the chosen one. Oh my fucking god. Did the did the wizard really set up an entire VR chat lobby to, to meet her? Oh my god. It's me. Sex man, the fourth. <laughs> the celestial <laughs> staff should have picked me. Never at Blade Strife. Teen Prince of Angstmore. Teen Prince of Angstmore, dude. Oh man. Dude, I, I hate how this is literally hitting on every single like average 14-year-old introvert trope. The the angsty teen that secretly is jealous of her. And and <laughs> the secret quest. The chosen one. Yes? Yes, I did make the right choice. Oh no. This is where we met the scones. I mean the wizard. Yeah. Whoa. It da, da, da. wasn't like this before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Dude, that's creepy, honestly. Dude, that's so sick. I don't like this. Yeah, well, you don't say it. Dude, it's crazy how the, the place looks like it was deserted for years. You're too late, Owl Women! Epstein's place has already been raided! Bro, millions of chosen one scrolls! No way, dude! 
<laughs> oh my god. Actual human trafficker. Actual child trafficker. This is awful. I re Playing into the fantasies of every single- Never trust a wizard, baby. Really don't like this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nevereth, your vengeful backstory is so compelling. So compelling. It's so generic and compelling at the same time. And I'm loving your animal sidekick. After my village was consumed, my heart has known nothing but vengeance. Mm. Nevereth. Lady Lu- No! <laughs> no! Don't say that! No, it's true. This is the first time I'm opening up because I love you. Do you think love can bloom on the- Oh my god, he's literally going down the love path. Battlefield. This quest is questing in all the right ways. Two right ways, dude. Two right ways. No! <laughs> Ew. Hum -de diddle to pass the bridge, you must first solve my riddle. Bro really rhymed riddle with hum -de diddle? Come on, dude! Bro, what, what is this? Average Drake lyrics. What the hell was that? Hit me, little furry man. Your quest shall stop if you fail this game. So tell me, my dear, what is my name? Dude, this is actually the Rumpelstiltskin gimmick. Hmm. No! No! Uh, Chris? That's it! You may cross the bridge! And please take this chosen one. It shall help you on your journey. Wow. This is... She is so good at this. Dumb high IQ of 189. Actual goat. Dude, why did he have a name tag Chris? That implies that there was a Jesus Christ in this universe. I'm just saying. If that's not lore, I don't know what is. Amazing. Thank you. She is kicking this fake gaslight quest's ass right now. Do you need a cape? No, I think you I... Do you need a cape? No capes! Yeah. Use my shirt. Yes? I need a cape. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, please don't stop, no. Three cheers for the chosen one. Yeah. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Dude, it's crazy. She's finally getting the love and appreciation she feels like she always was missing her whole life. Her whole life, she was always missing this love and appreciation, and she's getting it. It's the ultimate gaslight. Tell people shit they want to hear. Praise them for shit that they want to be praised for. It, this is, honestly, it's gimmicky and stuff, but it is so hard-hitting and well-written. Hip, hip! Oh, no. Oh, God, dude. Are you sure she came here? I can't mistake her smell. Like lemons and young, naive confidence. Ah. Mm. Hey, wake up, you. What have you done with Luce? What's your end game? To find your pupil and steal your rat. Look ahead and follow the path. <laughs> oh, my God. I told you it was all to get at her. It was all to get at her, baby. The best way to manipulate her is to fucking use the child. Oh, my God, dude. That's horrifying. Ah, the the cat man melted. The shrooms are kicking in, baby. Loses in a genjutsu. It's a trap. Thank you. Thank you, Admiral Akbar. You absolute legend. They want me to follow Luce. So what do we do? We follow her anyway. Hmm. Thank you for- I love how this is like a children's show, but it's also so just well put together. Think about it, right? This is a children's show and it's wholesome and cute. You see the thing, oh, she was tricked, whoopee, whoopee. But the gaslighting techniques used to tricking her are, are like actual dark as shit gaslighting techniques inviting me to your feast princess all your food was so tiny and cute for you chosen one. Oh god oh god what are these rings and bracelets actually gonna be doing thank you you have all been so kind and thoughtful i hope this quest never ends your quest will soon come to an end for this oh, great great love you thank you staff you seek is around the bend thanks for ruining the mood chris go on chosen one the celestial staff is yours You've earned it. Oh my glob. This Farewell, is crazy. Lady we love you, chosen one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is mildly horrifying. It's crazy how they managed to get this uh, light-hearted atmosphere with the horror that you know that this is all a lie. Like, you are watching this and you know she's stuck in some sort of genjutsu, bro. <gasps> oh my glorbus. What the math?
Lose! Floop the pig! Was this a boss fight? This is the easiest quest in the history of quests. I knew this world wasn't all gloom and doom like Ida and King said. There is wonder here, and I... I think I came here for a reason. Ah, oh, dude, it's so it's so easy to to gaslight people. Fuck, dude, it's it, this is traumatizing storytelling, honestly. Okay, this is it. Moment of truth. Yes, I am the chosen one. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I I've, I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. Oh, God. The way it's so wholesome and triumphant. The, the triumphic stare, the, the wholesome moment where she finally feels like she belongs. And it was all a lie. It was all to trap her to join Hustlers University and give her money to Andrew Tate. I knew it. I always suspected there was a reason nobody understood my- Oh God, please don't hurt her. Please don't hurt her. Please just use her to get to eat her. Don't hurt her. <laughs> She's too wholesome. No, please don't. Back at home. Now I have concrete proof. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. It was all a lie. What? Uh-oh. I know this guy. He's no wizard. He's what you call a puppeteer. A demon who specializes in scamming and... A demon who... What? Oh my god, what is going on? Manipulating people. He's trying to use loose to get to me. There we go, there we go. Yeah, and we're flying directly into his trap. Got him, got him, destroyed, annihilated. Hooray! <laughs> I love King so much, he's amazing. You can think of a better plan, I'd love to hear it. Hey, faster, you! Ooh. It's like, yes, they're flying into a trap, but she cares. Eat is such a great character, honestly. Mm -hmm. Loose the human. Magical wizard? Your hubris has failed you! Fuck, dude. What a manipulative piece of shit. Witch apprentice! <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to hear Dark Souls boss music. Huh? Dude, the fact that you knew these as like wholesome characters, but it turns out they were all these weird demonic creatures. Okay, Luce, don't panic. This is classic chosen one. Dude, actual puppeteer. Actual puppeteer. Every single one of these creatures. It is. You just have to rescue everybody and defeat the final boss. I <laughs> am everybody. I am everybody. Oh my glob. Fool. Don't you see? I'm no wizard and you're no chosen one. I am the head of a penis incarnate. I've tricked you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I told you that the the rings and shit were all No! Betrayed by my own cool accessories. Why are you doing this? <laughs> my own accessories! Your mentor has been stealing customers from my potions business. Bro, there's no way I guessed it that the, the motivation was money. Big Pharma over here was upset that that guy ain't no way. Oh my god, dude. Literally up against Big Pharma. Big Pharma, I am everybody. This for years, she must be destroyed. Does everybody have a beef with Ida here? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, They're all the same guy! And you lured her right into my trap. All because you wanted to think you were special. Because you wanted to think you were special. This, this is how you write a show for children and for adults. You have to write a show where the writing is tight as shit. No Coco Melon bullshit. No random TikTok A ADHD Subway Surfers garbage content. This is good writing, dude. Actual good lessons and morals in every episode. Uh -huh. No, joke's on you. Because Ida isn't stupid enough to fall for your trap. At a guess. Ah! Oh, heck. Ida, I have you now. That's right, you have me. Now release loose. I Dude, she's actually such a great character. Didn't have to be a part of this. <laughs> you were literally useless. Oh, no, well, I guess he, he followed her around. Oh, she can leave if she wants to. But I sense she wants a real fantasy. Oh, 
god. Literally, literally just... Stay with us, Luz. Stay with Adagast. We need you here. You could be our chosen one. Oh my god, dude, look at this. Look at this! Oh, fuck. What? But the crazy thing is, Luz's whole life in the human world, this was her dream. She was always living an imagination lifestyle. That's what th the self-insert lifestyle of the loner kid, the loner imagina uh, imagination kid, the kid that's always dreaming. This is what her life was before realizing that there was a real world out there. Actual infinite Tsukuyomi. Yeah, you can eat our tiny foods forever. Luz, why would you want to live in a world where people laugh at you? It is beautiful here. Dude, it's crazy. The ga the gaslighting is actually just insane. Fuck, dude. I, I feel like this kid hit thought this kid hit so hard for the so many kids. So many kids that are going through shit in high school. Loners, cringe, nerds. Uh, I could watch an episode like this and it would send them, bro. Here. Loose! And you guys think I'm special. No! <laughs> But you're not real. It's not real. Yes. I am a witch's apprentice. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna earn my magic staff the hard way. I believed you, magic man. Now feel my wrath. Yeah. <laughs> it actually worked. It actually worked. I don't know how, but it did. That was wholesome. Dude, because ultimately, you know what's better than the perfect fantasy? A perfectly average real life. That is such a good lesson. Reality and honesty is worth so much more than fantasy and propaganda any day of the week. But it's so hard to imagine that. It's so much easier to live in your fantasy land matrix world. Yo, eat a OP. Never Dude, this is a plastic sword. How is she doing this? Ah, my flawless pecs! <laughs> Back off! Uh. Oh, the dog gets it! I am not a... <laughs> King, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you and never trusted that wizard. Yeah! You were right! Yeah! Mystical or magical? He's just a big, slimy jerk! Bro, what? This sword is OP as shit. What is even going on? Ah! Well. Well, that's the last time I take an outside referral. <laughs> it's not an extreme stream if there's no vor. Why is this every single stream? I feel like there has not been a single stream I've done in months. That there hasn't been someone eating someone else. Hmm. Oh, did you want some of that? I don't think she did. Oh. No, I'm just confused. No. Thinking of calling it quits, huh? This place is nothing like I imagined. That's mm. right. It's real life, and real life sucks most of the time. But you know what? That's what make the good parts good. If everything was pure fantasy and awesomeness, then nothing would be. Maybe not here. Dude, Chad saying, I wish I was at a guest right now. Can you guys literally just go touch grass, please? To me, I got something to show you. Oh, oh. Okay, you can look. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, the bones of the aisles. It really is ribs. I was saying the whole time it's ribs. It really is ribs. These are the knees. It's a whole ass dude! Up close, the aisles can be slimy. And very stinky. And gross. But if you look at it from a different perspective... That's what it's all about. That's what it's, it's all beautiful. about. beautiful. That's what it's all about. Fuck. That's what it's all about! It's all about the perspective, dude. Yeah. Ida, how did you know that wizard was lying? Look, kid, everyone wants to believe they're chosen. Yep. But if we all waited Real. around for a prophecy to make us special, we... None of us would do anything at all. You're special because you make yourself special. Oh my god, I love this show. What is going on? You die waiting. And that's why you need to choose yourself. Does that mean you'll give me a magic staff of my own? Eventually, maybe. Not yet, but someday. 
Aww. Dude, that, that's, a, that's a family. Look at that. Be honest to each other. Actually caring about each other. Not giving each other shortcuts. This was such a good this was such a good episode. I can't believe it. Nux, you haven't seen anything yet. The show goes so hard. Well, 10,000 likes and on uh, an uh, episode uh, episode three. All right. That's what it's all about. First episode, it's okay to be weird. This episode, make your own destiny. I mean, every single episode is really, so far, I mean, we're only, we only saw two so far. They really just absolutely hit, nail down this, um, the philosophical beats. And fuck, that was really, really good. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Kink. Stay weird, fam.